Alright, what's up guys? So, with the release of Sun and Moon coming around the corner, I feel like it'd be a good idea to give five Pokemon challenges that you can do as a run-through to get through the next six months. So, starting off, uh, I guess these are two different challenges, but uh, there's Dog Lock and a Cat Lock, which are essentially the same thing as a uh, Wonder Lock, or not a Wonder Lock, a... Uh, regular Nuzlocke, but you can only use a dog or cat Pokemon, depending which one you use. So, you know, for a dog lock, you can only use Arcanine, Growlithe, Poochyena, Mightyena, uh, I guess you could use the legendary dogs, but, you know, for more of a challenge, don't use those. Uh, and for the cat lock, use Meowth, Persian, Skitty, Delcaddy, Meowstic, uh, Glammeow, I guess Snorlax is considered a cat, right? He has cat ears, and just lazy, and eats. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, next one would be a Sun or Moon Lock, which, depending on which one you choose, you use either Fire or water and dark types. I guess with fire you could also use fairy. But um you should use uh obviously the Sun and Moon Pokemon, whatever their names were. Uh I forget their names right now. Um use Dark Rye and Cresselia and Lugia and Oho. And then uh Yeah. Uh rules still apply to a Nuzlocke, you know. Uh, if one of your Pokemon die, then, you know, they're dead. But, um, in order to do that, I guess you'd have to either use, like, Pokemon Bank or an Action Replay. Uh, next challenge would be a Fisherman Challenge, which, in this, you can only use, uh, Pokemon that you catch in the sea. So, this would be just a normal Nuzlocke, as always, only, I guess you would need an Action Replay for this one to get the old rod from the beginning of the game, but you can only use, uh, you can use your starter until you can get the first Pokemon, but the starter has to be water type, obviously, but, uh, you know, rules still applies it like they would in a normal Nuzlocke, you can only catch one Pokemon per route, uh, if a Pokemon dies, that's it, it's dead, same rules apply there, um, then there's, uh, Nightmare Challenge, which here you have to use Pokemon that use, like, sleeping uh, effects and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, Snorlax. Um, anything that knows, like, Yawn and, like, Dream Eater and stuff. Um, so, obviously, Dark Rise is kind of necessary there. Um, and the last one would be the Pikachu Challenge, which... This one I've done and never beat it. Well, I did Pokemon X with this. I uh, never beat it, but I did get, I don't know, I think maybe four badges in, and then I just stopped. But um, it was pretty stressful, um, especially going against uh, that freaking gym leader with the Tyrant or whatever its name was. Um, that was extremely terrible, but it, in this, you have to use, uh, the following Pokemon. You have to use Pikachu, Minin, Plusle, Pachirisu, Emolga, and Dedenne. Um, you could, I guess, use Pichu and Raichu if you wanted, but those six are the preferred ones, just because, you know, Pichu would be pretty much too weak to really do anything, um, and then Raichu is just like, you know, Raichu's just an evolved Pikachu, so, you know, everyone loves Pikachu, um, so yeah, so those are the Pokemon you should use, um, in order to do any of these, Pokemon Bank is really the best thing, except for the Fisherman Challenge, which I guess you'd have to, uh, you have to use an action replay. Um, but as for the rest, just, you know, send some Pokemon to Pokemon Bank. And then, uh, yeah, 
if you wanted to do this in like X and Y, I mean not X and Y, uh, black and white or previous generation games, you're gonna have to use an action replay, I guess. But um, yeah, if you want to just, it's it's probably for the best to just do an X and Y or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So until next time, guys. Uh, I'll uh hope for you to uh comment, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. So yeah.